Brothers and sisters, this story comes from Metro.UK. Moment angry shopper confronts cop freed after he was charged with George Floyd's death and he should not have been freed. If that was me or any other black man or woman and this guy King was on the ground and we kneeled on his neck, I guarantee you they would put us in jail for life. Hell, they'd be calling for the death penalty. This is the moment an outraged shopper confronted one of the officers charged in connection with George Floyd's death. Good for this person. J. Alexander King or Kung, whatever the hell this dude's name is, I don't care, one of the Minneapolis officers fired after and arrested for Floyd's death was spotted at Cub Foods by a woman who began filming him in the grocery store. Kung slash King 26 was released on Friday on bond and conditional release from the Hennepin County Jail according to jail records. His bail had been previously set at $750,000. He is charged with second degree murder without intent while committing a felony. How the fuck did he make bail? Like, really, how did he? 750, somebody had to have backed him big time. I, I don't think cops make that much in his state, but reading on. The woman filming King tells him that he does not have the right to be here while condemning him for comfortably shopping. While released on bond, she also asked how he got the funding to secure bail, and that's what I'm asking too. King remains served during the encounter and tells the woman he's getting necessities as he was filmed with a pack of Oreos in his hand in the video post Sunday. Wow, that that's real necessities there. You, you need your Oreos, especially those double stuffed ones, y'all. But I'm going to go ahead and play this video if it'll play. If not, then I'll just continue reading on. I'm hoping it will. What? What's your name? Oh, yeah, that's me. It is you. Mm -hmm. So you're out of prison. Yes. And you're comfortably shopping in Cub Foods. As if you didn't do anything. I'm not, I wouldn't call it comfortably. I'd just say getting necessities or helping. Do you, I don't think you should have that right. I don't even think you should be out on bail. I can understand. I that. mean, how does it feel? I'm sorry you feel that way. No, you're not sorry. Like, you're literally outside here comfortably as if you didn't kill that man. Did you think that people weren't going to recognize you? Honestly, did you? You don't have the right to be here. You, you you killed somebody in cold blood. You do not have the right to be here. I understand. I'll get my stuff paid for. No, we don't want you to get your stuff. We want you to be locked up. You're honestly in Cub Foods, comfortably shopping. Out of prison. Like, do, do you feel any remorse for what you did? Do you? Yeah, I'm just going to grab my stuff. Again. This is the officer who was let out of jail today for shooting George Floyd. Or, I'm sorry, suffocating him. You're not going to be able to comfortably go around Minnesota like this. I pulled up the picture. I knew it was you. It's just like he was there when they were killing him. And it's just like this is crazy that you're here just thinking everything's okay. I mean, you don't want to apologize. You don't want to say anything like, no. Because this video is going to be on the Internet. Yeah, he has the nerve to literally come outside thinking that we don't know what he looks like. How dare you? You're not going to be able to comfortably live in Minnesota after that, or anywhere. And you will be going back to jail. Trust. Trust. Yeah, he bailed out. How'd you get the money? How'd you get the money? And you're lucky that they don't have your address. You're lucky that they don't have your address. Hi. Hi. This is a, one of the police officers that was involved in killing George Floyd. He was out on bail today. And he's over here comfortably shopping in Cup Foods as if. 
Good for this system. Good for this system. All right, reading on. You're not going to be able to comfortably go around Minnesota like this, the woman's telling Coon, as we all saw. I pulled up the picture. I knew it was you. She continues before loudly identifying Coon, King, sorry, two other shoppers. It's just like he was there when they were killing him, Floyd. And it's just like crazy that you're here. It's just things thinking everything's okay. I mean, you don't want to apologize. You don't want to say anything, she says, before vowing that Kuhn will be going back to jail. If there's any justice in this country, sister, he will. Any justice. King is due back in court on June 29th. He is one of the four officers charged in connection with the death of Floyd, who died after Officer Derek Chauvin knelt on his knee for more than eight minutes while other officers allegedly sat idly by. You know, there's another story on this officer. There's a story that he's being housed in the prison right now on the fifth floor and they don't want any of the black COs near him because they're afraid. They're afraid that they might kill him. I mean, these people... <laughs> These people are so weak. They are weak as fuck. All that dominance and supremacy that they claim to have, it goes right out the window whenever they are. And believe me, they are scared. But the court of public opinion, ladies and gentlemen, that is the final say. It's not the traditional courthouses that have it. You cannot go out here after you've killed somebody or assisted in killing somebody and think that, oh, I'm off scot-free. I'm off the hook. It don't matter. I mean, George Floyd is still in hiding. I'm sorry, not George Floyd, but George Zimmerman is still in hiding, ladies and gentlemen. Because at the end of the day, like I said, the court of public opinion really does matter. I mean, it'll be the same thing when Amber Geiger gets out, if she ever survives. <laughs> if she survives and gets out, ladies and gentlemen, you know, people are going to have the same reaction. But that's all I've got for y'all today. Um, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day, night, morning, evening, wherever you're at in this world. Peace and love always. Bye-bye.